Assalamu alaikum all, welcome back to MAP Academy show. My name is Zainab Bafa, a digital marketing instructor, entrepreneur and a business coach. I help you sell your products online. So let's just get straight into this episode. I'll be talking about how you can spot fake influencers on Instagram. Yes, there are lots and lots and lots of people on Instagram that are trying to be, that they call themselves influencers. Some are so-called influencers, some are real influencers, and some are fake influencers. There are micro and macro influencers also. So, how can you spot these fake influencers? Because as business owners, at times we tend to work with them in order to promote our business, in order to promote our product. So, you have to have this knowledge, you have to have these tips in order for you not to waste your money while advertising with these influencers. As you all know, everybody is trying to cheat the algorithm right now. Everybody is trying to have so many followers by all means. People are buying fake followers. People are buying fake likes, fake engagement, like fake everything. Everything is just fake on their page. You see someone with 100,000 followers and that 100,000 followers, maybe 90,000 followers are fake. They are inactive. What I mean by fake is they are inactive page those inst- those followers they don't they, 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 they did not follow them willingly they bought them using like cheat um some cheat hacks so now let's roast them please <laughs> allow me to roast i don't know i'm sorry like allow me to tell you how you can actually spot these fake influencers number one check their followers page you know when you go to their everyone's page, okay, followers, okay, following. So go to their go to the followers and then go through their followers. Not all, then the maybe it's not there or something. Like just few randomly check their followers, um, check their followers page and see if that account is active or not. John Chiza Hoga zero Basadama posts zero. They don't follow anybody. Maybe they follow few. The account is private, like all those iruma and nang spammy spammy um abubuan. Then, inko ga iruma and nang dayawa a followers ang one particular influencer they want they're trying to intend to work with. Then, mark that kusa ex kula let kuna. Then the second tip is to check their engagement rate. There was a time I saw someone with thirty four thousand followers and she was trying to sell something, sell her courses. She was trying to drive people to her website to buy her courses. And when I checked her engagement rate, she had thirty four K followers. And her engagement rates likes Mbama Sawuche ten. Honestly speaking, Basa Wuche ten. Two likes, six likes, seven likes, five likes on almost all her posts and she's trying to sell something to you so when let me just go through her followers i went through her followers page and guess what they're all inactive she bought the followers and it's like a new page she has like she has a new um person on instagram trying to sell something you understand like she's trying to be an influencer by force by fire so they are all fake i was like when it doesn't happen to matter kikwa so I pity all those people that went and bought the course from her. So you have to be extra careful. You have to be very, very careful with this kind of people. I call so many spammers on Instagram. So you have to be scammers. You have to be very, very careful with that. Tip number three is they don't even they don't come they don't connect with their followers. All these fake influencers, they don't connect with their followers. They'll just be posting random things, they'll be posting memes, they'll be posting um mm, cute arewa um women they'll be posting fine fine babes they'll be posting <laughs> like just random posts they don't even have a specific niche to, to, to start with they don't have a specific niche to start with they are just posting randomly anything they will just post and just because what they want to get that audience so that they can charge you for ads please be careful with those kind of people if you look at those kind of do not connect with their followers they don't at all babu and their relationships are connected to the followers and so you have to be very very careful with these kind of people now the fourth tip is 
they don't create any good content yes i have said as i have said bob one original content the susuki creating the council they will just pick from twitter they will pick from other people's page and post they will pick from facebook they will pick from all over and they will just post bob one original content the susuki creating meanwhile actual influencers actual main good like bad as influencers they take their time to create content even if it is pictures of themselves like you create time to go and take these pictures those pictures professionally just to be posting and then be writing so many interesting content take for instance vanessa lao she's one of my best like content creators right now she's my mentor vanessa lao just do, go to her page you just see a bunch of her pictures but go to the content and see go to the caption sorry and see the kind of content she's making there she's an influencer so that those kind of people are real influencers go to for example aisha harun shahad batal like go to their pages and see those are real influencers they are really impacting they are making an impact they are really connecting with their audience they are creating content they are not just lame and just you know being influencers by force by fire don't do that don't work with those kind of people you have to be smart enough you have to be smart enough and one thing one very annoying thing is they charge so high like all these fake influencers charge so high thirty thousand naira per post just for one day for what after you have fake followers inactive followers who will see that post you have maybe two hundred thousand followers and you're asking me to pay fifty thousand naira per post and maybe only out of 200,000 followers and you even that post will not even get to 1,000 likes it would not even get to 1,000 likes then Allah could do for Ghani analyze I'm not telling you not to work with influencers no it's a very good strategy it's a very good marketing strategy actually but you have to fish them out you have to be smart enough to work with the right people you have to be smart enough to work to work with the right with the right people so guys these are the four tips for you to spot fake influencers don't waste your money it's better to go and buy suya with your money than <laughs> or treat yourself something rather than paying them to do this uh, to, to do asara for you please save your business just grow your business i'm all about helping you to grow your business and sell your products online like we need to support each other we need to support each other and all these fake influencers and all this whatever please if you are a fake influencer and you are listening to this, then Allah, then and Nabi, stop what you are doing. Stop what you are doing. Find a life. Find a job. Fuck it. Thank you so much. Same other episode 13, inshallah, we are talking about offline marketing strategies. Not online, not social media, offline. How can you sell your products offline? So if you want to know that, subscribe to this channel and see you next time.